Hello and welcome to Infinity. I've got another set of free macros for you. This time they are, this is set here, Dave's SC, which is Selective Colour Tonal Dyadic. This is different to ones I've given before, which is the Grading Dyadic. The grading one affects colour. These affect just tones, in other words, the blacks and the whites, which is why we're starting off here with a gradient. To show you what happens here, you just have to, first of all, download this from the link below and then drag and drop the .af macros file onto here or via the hamburger at the top here and import macros. So let's have a look at this. And what you've got in here is actually 36 different of these set. Each one here is a macro. So if I click on the first one, red cyan, you can see here that the whites you know, here are made into red and the blacks are cyan which seems quite a fairly strong effect but by the time you blend it it doesn't make that much of an effect because you've got all the controls here that you'd see in the selective color control so you can tweak this a bit if you want to but normally you just go down here to where it says normal here click on that and go to something like overlay or soft light and then this blends this in a lot more notice you're keeping the blacks and the whites in this whilst you get more gentle toning. And if it looks like split toning, yes, that's right, that's what it's doing. You've also got opacity here. When you move a slider here, by the way, it doesn't change it until you let go of it. And it doesn't apply it here until you click on the apply here, which means you can switch to other ones if you want to. Each one here, when I've got a red cyan for white and black, I've also got the reversal for black and white and all the way down here. This first set are complementary, in other words, they're opposites on the colour wheel. Below this is asymmetric, which is 60 degrees on the colour wheel, which means things like red and green you can get, and red and blue and so on. And you can match up the primary, secondary and tertiary colours. So, let's have a look quickly at the colour wheel to see the actual effect that it's happening. Here we've got just the colour wheels here, uh, but fading to the centre, of to grey to white and to black so look at the bottom two here when we click one of these so the red and cyan that means red going to go to the white cyan's going to go to the black so you're reminded up here so i click on that then you can see here it's just the whites and the blacks here affected other colors are not and if you do the reversal you get that and so on down so it just affects the the the, and the more red black and the more white it is the more the color affects it and of course you can adjust these as you like. So let's try it in a real picture. So this one here, there's a lot of blues or cyans down here in the lighter colours. And there's a few reds in there, so we could use this first one here. So we want the cyans to be in the lights, so we start off with cyan red. And you can see here how it has affected it. And then we just go down to the blend mode here. I can go to overlay or soft light, the most common, but you could also try some of the others. So if I go to overlay, so that gives you a kind of stronger effect. And if I go to the, where is it? The, there we go, soft light, it's not a strong effect. You can always, of course, turn it down with the opacity. Notice when I move this here, nothing happens until I let go. That's a little trick you need to watch out for. And then if I want to actually use it, I click on apply and then it drops it into here. Then I can always open this up and do something else with it. I'll do an example using that. So this picture here, if I say, hmm, let's try a teal and orange here. We want the teal in the darks and orange in the lights. So that may, means this orange teal, white, black. Uh, so whites to blacks there. So click on that, you can see this is where it's being applied. So you can see it's, nothing is much is happening in here, but this, this is a stronger teal effect. So I can actually start adjusting this if I want to, but I'm just going to put this in here to a soft light and then apply. But I can now always open this up again and start doing other things to this. So if I want to bring up this area here, I can go to the reds and turn the cyan down. It's going to increase the reds a bit and turn the yellows up. So that's going to add a bit more. As you can see the before and after here is quite noticeable. I could even say go down to the blues and make that darker to darken off the top of that sky there. I can even enhance that by going to the science and doing something similar, make it a little bit more nighttime. 
and even go to the greens and say let's make this down here just a bit darker so we can turn that down there and so I've got then a picture I've used a combination of the macro and just changing it from this before to this after subtle but quite a notable effect that's it and thank you very much for watching